space. I'm on a winning streak. I'm on a winning streak. I'm on a winning streak. Yeah, I'm on a winning streak. 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 Yeah, I'm on a winning streak. Get your shit together, be home. If you are seeing this, you are part of the resistance. <laughs> nah, I uh, appreciate all my patrons for uh, being part of the Patreon, being part of AO Nation, and truly supporting uh, what we're trying to do. Obviously, um, in October, I'll be in D.C. Um, a lot of shit's gonna go on, uh, but since you're a patron, I'm gonna let y'all know, if you don't already know, um, I'm making... A documentary called The Rap Trap Theory. Um, and I'm trying to get it on to uh, four streaming services. Obviously, we're sending it out to four streaming services, hoping that um, we can land a deal right now. Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, and um, Zeus. The channel with Black China, uh, the real Black China show. These people are scraping the bottom of the barrel. They need content. Um, if you look on any one of these fucking platforms, they have trash, trash, trash. Um, what I'm trying to do with the Patreon and all the other shit I'm trying to do is to show these people when I go sit down with them, um, I want to show them that there's already um, a outlet for this uh people are already waiting for this um like it is there's no need to take this shit and try to make it in like oh you should wear a dress no nah, none of that shit um this shit is already damn near on its way out you can hop on board with what i got going on we can be partners or shit at all but in october i'll start sending it out also in october i'll be picking uh my intern uh, the intern will be someone who is uh currently working on um, doing something in, in, in the entertainment field, whether it be music, modeling, hosting, YouTube, podcast, whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? As long as you're trying to do something within the entertainment field so that the internship can actually mean something. Like, you can actually learn something from the internship. Um, but I want you to already be going and having a unique, unique way of... Um, Promoting your shit, whatever like that. Not just sitting around waiting on somebody. Quiet! Not, quiet! Not just sitting around waiting on somebody to come help you out. Um, so I'll be picking an intern. A lot of shit going on in October. So, um, you know, obviously I'm on this new diet. This new fucking workout regimen and shit like that. Trying to get everything. So right so that when i go up when i do so i'm sitting off the um what is it the pilot and um october so that's why october is gonna be like a celebration time for me because it's like by then i'll have all my shit together and we'll be Going to a new platform, you know what I'm saying? Going to new heights, you know what I'm saying? Still broadcasting on YouTube and shit like that, but it's time, you know what I'm saying? I'm actively thinking about doing a book, uh, might be an audio book, uh, called The Three S's, you know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be a lot of shit going on, and I understand that I will need somebody to help me. I'm gonna have to break out of that hole, I'm gonna do everything myself, shit, uh, because of all the shit I'm trying to take on. Um, so that's that's what's going on in October. So that's why with y'all supporting this shit by being patron, just showing that this shit is not just a p people who like to watch a motherfucker on YouTube. We have people who really will support this shit. So I salute y'all and I really appreciate everything that y'all do. Um, but let's 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 get down to why we're here. Um, we're here because we need to stop the confusion about um, nabs. Whether or not, what is a nab? Um, Katrina Gibbs, uh, her last, make sure you go to the conversation. I know that all y'all are aware of who Katrina is in the conversation with me show. But she had a show where, uh, I think her last show, where she asked, are all black women ratchet? 
And um, on there, she said that one night when we went live, somebody was in the uh, chat saying that all black women are nabs. And she's like, how you figure that? It's like, oh, well, all AO dates is black women, so he, he can't be talking about anybody else. It's like, what a fucking idiot. Like, my nigga, let's say that back... In my whole life, I've never fucked anything but a black girl. Does that mean I can't... You, so you have to have sex with somebody in order to know if she's a nab or not? What? You know what I'm saying? So, like, what a fucking idiot. Like, you know what I'm saying? But it's shit like that that makes me say, you know what? Let me go ahead and, and, and put this shit in line for you. What we're about to do today is we're going to figure out uh the top three ways to identify a nab in public of course there are uh, more ways to identify a nab you know you can identify a nab by her house you can identify a nab by her car you can identify a nab by her um by her parents you can identify a nab by her old man you can identify a nab by her friends um so many ways to identify by her occupation um that's so and we're going to do a series and you can uh, we're also going to do uh three ways to identify a nan a nothing ass nigga but we're starting off and this series will be exclusively on patreon so um and i'm gonna let people know that but um right now we're just going to do the top three ways to identify a nan like so when you first encounter them this is the most important thing you know if if you're You should learn this shit in order of how the relationship evolves uh, or advances or progresses. So the first thing you're going to see, you're not going to see her house before you see her. So let's do when you see her, then we'll do when you see a car, then we'll do when you see a house, then we'll do when you see a kid, then we'll do when you see her parents, then we'll do so that you can check off all these lists to make sure that she's not that. Um, but right now we're doing... How to identify a nap in public. Before we do that, let's find out what the definition of a nap is. I gave Katrina a short version of the definition of a nap. This here is the Webster uh, Yoster uh, definition for a nap. Somebody said I'm drinking that water like a fucking um, Capri Sun. Um... So, uh, NAB is a noun, adjective, or acronym for nothing ass bitch. Uh, it is a human female of low class, intellect, and or morals, uh, vile and or parasitic in nature, extremely immature, inconsiderate, negative, and oftentimes violent personality, fueled by a low self-worth and low self-esteem, but will use personality as a false sense of self-confidence. A woman without logic, rationale, or goals. That's heavy. That's heavy. So, This is the blessing of having this on Patreon. So, so if you you know need to go back and and listen to that definition again, rewind that so you can hear that. Um, we're gonna go, but with that definition, I'm sure you can put that on a lot of females that you know. Um, maybe you can put on a couple of males that you know. Um, The applications of that definition are fucking endless. You know what I'm saying? Like you can look at it's so it's crazy. So it's, it's such a big thing. So in order for me to truly give you what you need, you would have to bring me the the girl and bring me the situation. That's why I talk so much about celebrities because it's something that we all know about: Black China, Amber Rose, Christine Milian, fucking Black, damn Black China. Uh, whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? So that we all know, we all see what happened, we all know it. That, that's better than taking fucking Riri down the street and goddamn 
like y'all don't know shit about her, so we would have to use something that everybody knows, a universal uh, example, uh, at least with us. All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna give you the top three. Um, identifiers but we're gonna go from the least to most even though all of them are serious but we're gonna go from something that can be kind of like got a gray area to something that you cannot deny you know what I'm saying? So let's get started. Number three. Clothes. Clothes. What she is wearing is going to be such a big deal. It is going to be such a big deal. Um, it is. So if she's, if she'll come outside, this this is what you have to understand. A nothing ass bitch can mimic a good girl in everything that she does except, um, and when I say good girl, a, a, a definition of a good girl isn't that she's she can do quantum physics and. And fucking, she's an engineer and those. No, nah, good girl is a good girl, a uh, good woman, um, and that's what makes the nothing ass bitch a nothing ass bitch. She can do the right thing, but she chooses not to. She chooses not to. She chooses to take the easy way out. So instead of working a relationship and shit like that she will rather just let's do all this shit up front i'm gonna let you see everything that you're gonna get um in the beginning because i won't just i'm gonna get this man but it's like she doesn't understand like you're showing him everything and you're giving him everything in the beginning what like what's the point of him of him courting you dating you like you've already given him everything like it's it's but and the reason why she does that because she feels see that low self worth she low self esteem she feels like she doesn't have anything else. So there are and we can talk about that also. How do you create a nothing ass bitch? But right now we're just pointing them out because obviously it's extremely dangerous right now in 2019 to <clears throat> have a nothing ass bitch around you. A nothing ass bitch will set you up to get you robbed, murdered. Uh, false domestic violence charge, false rape charge, the list goes fucking on. Um, your best bet is to identify, be able to identify nothing ass bitch and go the other fucking way. Um, if you are a gambler and you want to know how to identify nothing ass bitch so you can find her and just get a quick fucking shit like that, you can gamble with your life if you want to and your freedom if you want to. That's on you. So her clothes is going to be a big thing. What kind of clothes? Uh, clothes that are extremely exposing. That's going to be um, any lower, lower, uh, any pants, shorts that resemble underwear. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. If she's wearing black tights. You're dealing with a nothing ass bitch. Um, and you can play if you want to play all that. Ah, nah, nah. I, I, I'll do your thing, my nigga. But black tights with no draws, you're dealing with a nothing ass bitch. Um, just uh, so if, if, if her pants, her, her shorts don't go, if they don't get, if them holes is less than. If she wears coochie cutters, this is a nothing ass bitch. You're dealing with a nothing ass bitch. If she wears coochie cutters, coochie cutters are the ones that look like draws. If they resemble draws, 
this is a nothing ass bitch. If the pockets are exposed, like the pants are so fucking short, the shorts are so short that you can see the pockets, you're dealing with a nothing ass bitch. Um, if she has a... If her shorts are too small, if she buys her clothes too small, you're dealing with a nothing ass bitch. It's like if she wears shit that gets you like that would get a pervert sexually aroused, you're dealing with a nothing ass bitch. You can tell by her clothes whether or not she wants attention. She can play that, oh, I can't find, you know, uh, you, you'll see motherfuckers online doing a, uh, uh, thick bitch problems when they pulling up their pants real slow and shit like that um i'm not gonna tell you nothing about the jeans jeans i'm not gonna we're not gonna do that i'm telling you surefire ways to um identify so that jean shit go too crazy so if they're long jeans i'm not even gonna go there but you should use your eyes because there's there's more things so i'm not gonna go there i'm just saying if she'll come out the house if when you see her, she's looking like a stripper, meaning just a towel around her titties. If, if the top look like a bra, you know what I'm saying? If the bottom look like panties, if she got pants on and her shirt is so light, if, if she, you can, you should, and I, I hate to even say that you should be able to tell, but because it's some of you motherfuckers who need illicit fucking, you know what I'm saying, detailed information, but it's like all I can tell you is if she'll come outside, I don't give a fuck where you're at. If of course if you had a pool party, if you had a pool party, my nigga, you and she twerking, then you're dealing with nothing as bitch. But um also notice if she's a stripper, she's a nothing ass bitch. I'm just gonna give you that one. Um But if she's wearing, if the clothes are something that you would see in a, something that a girl would wear to, to uh, get a pervert on hard, she's a nothing ass bitch. I'm trying to extremely exposing. Uh, she got a t-shirt on and she got some, you know, some boy shorts or she has a long t-shirt and a uh, long t a t-shirt and like you can't see her ass and shit like that and she got on like some soccer shorts whatever i'm not going there i'm talking about the the bottom matches the top type shit if she and she, if she got them black tights on forget about it but extremely exposing shit pure point blank if she just needs to show her fucking cleavage like you're dealing with a nothing ass bitch um, and when I say showing her cleavage, I mean heavy cleavage, like heavy, like you can actually, like the only thing she's hiding, if they're with that, 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 uh, what is it, that fishnet shit, that fishnet shit, nothing ass bitch you dealing with. So if you look on the side here, these are all good examples, um, so if you if you're in doubt if you're in doubt like ah, I'm not sure if that's too much just say I right, I'm just give up pass on the clothes we're gonna get you something else all right number two her head her head her hair her hair and her head her head you can tell by her head whether or not she's a nothing ass bitch if on her head she has a bonnet. If she's in public with a bonnet on her head, you're dealing with a nothing ass bitch. Understand what the bonnet represents. The bonnet represents I am a true fucking follower. I don't give a fuck. And so it's like, I don't give a fuck what folks think about me. But it's like, if that's the case, then why do you tell your fucking children to put clothes on? You know what I'm saying? It's just some things that you shouldn't do. Hey. I got my bonnet on, whatever. I got my bonnet in the house. So I'm, before I leave out the house, I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? And if I do got a bonnet on, I'm going straight to the motherfucking hairdresser and I'm out this motherfucker. 
what the bonnet says to me even more is that I'm ashamed of my fucking hair. I'm ashamed of my fucking hair. I cannot be seen. I would rather you see me with a Walmart bag on my head than for you to see me with my natural fucking hair. A bag is better than my hair. A bag. And of course, and, and you know, I hate American Trinity. We do this shit. Like, we'll talk about what somebody in the comment section is going to say. Because there's going to be somebody in the comment section say, well, what about niggas with do rags? First, we're not talking about niggas. So you in the wrong place. You should be over there, you know, checking for niggas. For two, a nigga will, you, you know that a nigga isn't ashamed of his natural, so what the fuck are you talking about? For three, boys and girls are not the fucking same. If you're going to say that, then you also have to say, well, why girls got to sit down to pee? Why a nigga got to open the door for a girl? Why is a nigga supposed to pay uh, uh, for the, uh, the dinner? It's just some things. You understand? Why the man supposed to propose to the girl? Just kind of the way it is, my nigga. And we can go into the feminist. And, all right, we, we can do the whole, uh, you know, but I'm not doing that. Um, So the bonnet is going to, what a nigga will tell you on social media is, if you, uh, what is it? If you see a bonnet in the bathroom and shit like that, you know you're finna get, I think Ply said that, you know you're finna get some good pussy and shit like that. If you see a, a, a comb on the on the uh, bathroom counter with hair in the sink and shit like that, you know you're finna get some good pussy. All that disgusting ass shit. If you the bathroom look and fucking smell disgusting, I can't wait to do that whole, I think I'm gonna get Katrina on the show with me to do that um, how to tell her now by her house. Can't wait to do that one. Um, but and how to tell a nail about her kid that's gonna be crazy but that bonnet represents um, just mental retardation when I say retardation I mean being slow um, not being progressive at all um, a person may ask What's the difference between that and the um, African head wraps that maybe they have? And then you just answered your own question. Um, that bonnet will only be seen in public on a female that... will not be a not be logical during an argument this is not the this is not somebody that you're going to want to have to figure a problem out with um and I, I i i hate to see a 13 year old 14 year old little girl outside with that bonnet on doing this shit like it's just like because she didn't even know i made a post she doesn't even know what the fuck she's doing She's being trained to not give a fuck. And it's not about not giving a fuck with society. It's like, this has become so normal to you. It's, to be honest with you, to be honest, to be truly honest with you. I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go there. Because I was going to say, you know, uh, to be truly honest, it's the, it's the equivalent of a nigga sagging so hard to where you see his draws and shit like that and, and but it, it's, it's not the same once again because we represent two different things to society but because I'm showing my ass I'm not hiding anything um even though I'm probably the same person a nigga who sag his pants is probably not going to be the best in the argument either but a nigga to say probably not going to argue with you um 
sagging that hard. So that body, it just it it, it is what it is. Uh, you can test the theory. You can test it and 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 a hey, doing it like just try to do an experiment and shit like that and let me know how it turns out. But I guarantee you're dealing with a nothing ass bitch. Um, also about her head. Um, so with all of these things, these are places that you're gonna look on her. Her clothes are gonna tell you whether or not she's a nothing ass bitch. Her head is going to tell you whether or not she's a nothing ass bitch. You look at her head, and if she has the colorful fucking weave. A girl with blonde, bloody red, it means like, so hair with red tint. This does not go for them. Black, bloody red, bloody red would be like, you know, black with like a, you know, a little reddish tint to it, you know, reddish. Natural colors that actually come on, even if it's blonde. Um, even, even though, to be truly honest, I want to bam. I want to bam the bitches. I'm bamming them, fuck it. A bitch with colorful hair. If the hair is, it can be black with maybe a gold tip at the end. It can be gray, natural colors. You know what I'm saying? But a bitch with just fire red, you know, crayon red and green and uh, 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 Mardi Gras colors, purple, all this other, you know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna work. Once again, you can try it. You can try it, but it's not gonna go that well for you. If it's a white girl, you're gonna be looking for uh, thinning, thinning right here. You're gonna look. You're gonna be looking for thinning hair, thin hair. You're gonna be looking for thin hair. Uh, you're gonna be looking for. Um, black black dye at the bottom of it um it's gonna i'm gonna be honest with you it's gonna be hard to do the white girl by her uh hair it's gonna be hard to do it by her hair but you can like i said use her clothes and the other things i've given um i'll give you another one for the white girl it's gonna be um if she if she ever used the word nigga, but like so, you know, but just just try to, you know, just try to be careful. But this is for anybody on on the globe here. The colorful weave that just pretty much lets you know that's gonna let you know that yeah, what you got in front of you is pretty much someone who is just. You know what I'm saying? And, ah, look at me, look at me. Um, a lot of times, she gonna be ugly as fuck with this. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about ugly as fuck with this hair. So it's like that. That lets you know that she got an attitude. A ugly bitch, ugly in the face with colorful weave. You in for a lot of fucking attitude. And probably a stank pussy, to be honest with you. To be truly honest. This, you better watch, and you have to also watch. <sighs> Man, that's, that's. Ooh. Just watch out for the bonnets and the colorful weed. That's, I'm just going to give you that right there. All right, number four. Number four. <laughs> number one. The number one way. To identify a nab in public is going to be her motherfucking mouth. Gonna be a mouth. Okay. So let's say she passes all the tests. She don't got no revealing clothes on. She don't got no colorful weave. She don't got no bonnet on her head. So like, all right, this, this might be, all right, it's all good. 
Hey, what's your name? And this bitch open her mouth. And you start seeing black gum. I'm not talking about no no crooked because you know a person may not have you know depend well depend to be honest with you depend on what age she is you know maybe just just look what I'm telling you what I want you to pay attention to is the black gum and the yellow um the yellow cigarette weed lips black. You understand? Lips is black. Mm. Lips is black. Um, gums is black. Teeth is just yellow with black. Look like it just it just don't look good. If a girl just has crooked teeth, nice gums, I suggest you don't just get too thrown off by that because that can be a very easy fix. And there's very slim pickings out here. So that girl with those crooked teeth, you can easily help her out, you know, get some braces on braces. You can pay $20 a month on some braces and shit like that for a couple of years, whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Get down the fucking ways. You know what I'm saying? You got you a fucking good girl right here. Um, so don't just be too thrown off. That's she can't help that. But what she can help is that, and you can also be born with black gums. Um, so I'm gonna ask you to use your common sense. That's what I'm telling you. It's gonna be a combination. It's gonna be a combination. The main thing that you cannot lose on is the yellowing and the plaque buildup on the teeth. There's you can you can she can take all the bullshit pictures she want online that's what i'm telling you in person is very important that's why i'm telling you it's a whole another set of rules when it comes to online um because you can't see shit but what they want you to see in person this is your best fucking chance in identifying who the fuck she is that's why i'm, I'm i can't wait to give y'all how to identify nothing ass bitch by occupation that's gonna be a crazy one i'm gonna give you nigga if she work at a lorica or a telemarketing place this is nothing ass bitch i just gave you that one I just gave you that one. I just gave you that one, nigga. So, nigga, that's what I'm saying. Um, that's gonna be a crazy list right there. But the 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 yellowing of the teeth and the plaque and tartar buildup is something that cannot accidentally happen. This is the only way this happens is intentionally. That means you're in the street. You're not taking care of yourself. You get a lot of niggas out this bitch, you know what I'm saying, that don't have no teeth. You know what I'm saying? Crackheads and, and smokers and shit like that. And holes of steel, you know what I'm saying? Because it's different for girls and boys. But what we're talking about here is the tartar buildup on the teeth to where you could tell she's been smoking she's been smoking not only cigarettes black and miles been smoking weed it's like you're not taking care of and like please believe me there are a lot of nothing ass bitches that are raising girl children and they're not putting their hygiene first to where you'll have a 21 year old bitch you're dealing with this hoe can be stacked up, really have ass on her, and not have no stomach. But you would have you you gotta beg this hoe to take a bath. And when she take a bath, nigga, you have to make sure that this bitch is not. You gotta make sure this hoe is wet when she leave out the fucking. It's like, what the fuck, bitch? I, this is childish. I shouldn't have to fucking make sure that you. Let me make sure you wet. What the fuck? I dry it off. Motherfucker. Ain't no. It ain't that much dry in the fucking world. Get the fuck back in that goddamn tub. I'm trying to tell y'all something. If I, went, if I ain't witnessed this shit in my real life, I wouldn't say it to you, dog. 
So, <sighs> motherfucker come to spend the night and don't bring no fucking toothbrush. I was just gonna use yours. Hold the, you don't have no toothbrush? It's different for girls and boys, even though it should be no nigga that don't take no bath or brush his teeth. But as a girl, it's like you got so much more going on with you. I would think that if it's hot outside, like you just, I can't go outside. Like, I can't even, I don't play them kind of games. Like, you got, you supposed to know all kind of tricks about, you know, apple cider or, you know, different baths and, and all that. You supposed to know a whole bunch of shit, and, and like, and and really, it's not your fault. It's your mother's fault. What the fuck was she doing that she didn't teach you this? As soon as you started taking, the, as soon as, uh, you know, that thing opened up, like as soon as she starts smelling you, it's like, all right, it's time we gotta have this talk. You got something that don't nobody else got. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is something, you know, you got to take care of this thing. Or this thing will, you know what I'm saying, be your undoing. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they ain't going to let you live this shit down. You're going to be fighting every day, you want to put something. That's thank you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, so, I'm a, I'm a, I'm going to give it to you. After you see her mouth, let's say her mouth passes the test. If you smell anything, if you smell anything, because it will be a girl with teeth look good, she doesn't smoke, lips look good, but her breath stank. And you could be asking me, well, yo, hold on now. You said don't turn down a good girl. Um because she got crooked teeth why would you turn down a good girl that maybe got stink breath that's an easy fix too but what what that tells you my nigga is she's coming from a unstable home she's coming that if you're and this go back to identifying the nail by her parents she's she's not coming from a good household if the first day you met her, her breath stank, not like she just went and ate some salt and vinegar and this this some maybe you just smell a little what you just ate. No, nah, it ain't that. It's actually no, nah, this shit came from this morning. This shit here came from this morning. No, nah, hell fuck no, nah, ain't nothing that you could have ate shit that could smell like that. No, fuck that. Any odors, and so this I'ma give you even more. Any odors coming from this, this is under the arms, under her legs, nigga, any, her feet, any, so when you first meet her and you have any smells come on to you, you know what I'm saying? Because if she knew, it don't matter how good you look, whatever like that, if she knew that she was mustard, first off, she shouldn't be in public. Maybe she just get off work. Oh, hey, what I do? I, but, but here's the thing. How old are you that you don't know how to control your... What the fuck do you do for... I don't give... Dog, it'll be a bitch... It will be a bitch... A uh, 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 NBA player... A uh, WNBA NBA player... Just came off the court... She not gonna stink... And she sweating like a motherfucker... Why the fuck do you stink? That goes back to the hair... But I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in, in the odor section... Um, any odor coming from this woman... You're dealing with the nothing ass bitch and you need to get the fuck out of there because you're going to have to re-raise her at this point. You're going to have to re-raise her and that's going to take, you know, it's going to be hard to do because once again, I do like to kiss. So I'm not, dog, you have to go through the nice, nice stage, you know, small talk stage. You can't just run straight. Oh shit! But you need to. Uh, hey, you cool? We need to get you some deodorant, uh, some summer's eve, and the nearest fucking um, punching fucking uh, boxing glove with toothpaste on it. If we can just go find that shit, where that store at? 
They, they might have them at Academy. Let's go down here to Academy and get these toothpaste flavored boxing gloves. And I'm going to bust you in your fucking shit. That's, we're going to get this shit taken care of. Well, uh, you driving? You know what I'm saying? Like, who, who the bitch we finna, you know, um, because you, you finna have, like, you gotta do this small talk shit. And so, and, and, and you know what? Maybe you test the hoe. You say, damn, like, um, you been working? You been, you must work in the, well, yeah, I, I, I figured you work in Subway. Like, you must be the one to peel the onions and the garlic. You must, that's, you, you be safe. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I figured you the one who taste tests all the garlic and mayonnaise and make sure, and see if it go, it went old, it went went bad. So you you oh yeah, this this old here, just licking the motherfucker, taking a scoop out the mayonnaise, taking a scoop out the garlic. Oh, it's still good. You just you know what I'm saying that type of shit. That that what you do because that's what it smell like. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you want to wash up. You can wash up at my house and let's see if we can scrape that shit off of you. Maybe we can scrape this shit the fuck off, you know what I'm saying, like, and, and get this stank off your ass, because you fine, you fine as fuck, but you stank like a motherfucker, um, and see how she take that shit, you know what I'm saying, if she can't take that, oh, you know, maybe say it in a nicer way, but if she can't take that real shit you're telling her, that's a nothing ass bitch, but I'm gonna just go ahead and tell you, any female that you meet in public, that has an odor, you're dealing with the nothing ass bitch. And you're and if you feel like taking that fucking occupation on of actually trying to re-raise this hoe, then that's on you. The third thing about her mouth is gonna be that she's extremely loud, belligerent, using a lot of cuss words. What what's your name? What your name is, nigga? Ooh, you fine? Come here, boy. That shit right there, oh my god, nigga, if a bitch, nigga, tell you, hey boy, hey boy, my friend won't talk to you, run, nigga, run, you in the mall coming out, foot action and shit like that, on the phone and shit like that, yeah, I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to get my goddamn, uh, going to the gym, and, hey boy, hold on, honey, hold on, hey boy, Me? Yeah, hey, hey, my, my friend won't talk to you. Yeah. Your friend? How old are you guys? You know what I'm saying? Like, how how fucking old are you? To my some A boy. My, and, and then you... She can't speak for herself? Nigga, run. And, and this is also for you young folks out there. You know what I'm saying? Like... You 18, you 19, whatever like that. If that's how the girl is going to approach you. And, and you know, I'm trying to tell you. If you over, and nigga, if you over 13, a bitch talk like that, you need to get the fuck out of there. Don't, I don't give a fuck what she look like. It's probably a setup. You know what I'm saying? And if it's not a setup and her friend got to speak up for her and she's older than fucking 14, my nigga, you don't need nothing like that. You don't need nothing like that. Because a lot of time when she say that, it's really a hud that want to talk to you, or they just playing the fuck around, or whatever the fuck like that. Um, but that's that's a telltale. But also, if if she um, if she's loud when you talk to her, and just like ah, it's just loud, you know, just. I call it, to be honest, and I, I, I shouldn't do it because if a nigga, if a motherfucker from New York said this shit, I'd be offended. But I call it country as fuck. Like, this country is a motherfucker. Like, not to say that she can't be a good girl and be country, but if, you, if you're going to be country, be soft and comfort country. Don't be no, oh yeah, motherfucker, I told that motherfucking nigga, where the goddamn uh, G in that? You got to think about these things. Like, I'm going to be out here in this fucking crazy world trying to make shit happen, shaking hands, trying to build relationships, always looking for scenes to, and trying to get to the next level. When I come home, I don't need fucking chaos. I don't want anything even resembling that shit. I want something at home that she damn near don't even understand. 
you know, she understand. I, I, I do want her to understand and comprehend what the fuck is going on. But I don't need you to be nothing like that outside. Now, I don't... So, all that loud and shit. And, you know, some folks, uh, we best friends and all that shit like that. We laugh together. That's fine. Do your thing. But I'm going to tell you, my nigga, if she's loud, if you can hear her before you see her or you can hear her from a distance, she uses a lot of fucking cuss words when you first meet her. Um, just profane. Um, doesn't seem to have any diction. She speaks in broken English. You're probably going to want to get the fuck. And this is where you know that um, this nab... Nav is not, it, it doesn't stick to a race, it transcends race. Nav is a consciousness. It's a consciousness that you tap into. That's why when you see a 13 year old girl work, walking with the binding, binding on, you see that she's getting acclimated to this Nav consciousness. And so she's on the same, same wavelength as all the other fucking Navs. And then once you're in that consciousness, you know that all you give a fuck about is nails, weave, love, and hip hop. The T becomes your everything. You don't give a fuck where you work at as long as you can hear the T. So open up your own salon and, and you won't do anything outside of any fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it's just a horrible place to be because the NAB consciousness stretches at least throughout the whole United States. Meaning that I can go anywhere in the United States and not ever feel like I'm out of, out of touch with any shit because I mean... All the nabs are watching the same thing, world fucking wide, nationwide. So if I open up a conversation and ask, a, so you more like Black China or Alexis Scott? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All that shit right there, she'll understand it. You know what I'm saying? She's tapped into the nab consciousness. Now, if I say that to her, a real woman would be offended as fuck. Like, I'm not like the motherfucking. Keep, I'm not nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got the wrong one. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I would want. But if you're tapped into the nab consciousness, it's just like fingernails, weave, eyelashes, makeup. Like, this is... And it's like, you know, the, the society will make you think that's what girls do. That's just girl stuff. No, it's not. No, it's not. No. Human shit is to... No, you know what? Unique people succeed, and that's I'm looking for people who want to succeed and succeed. To succeed, it takes sacrifice. Same thing to to actually achieve success, it takes sacrifice. So the shit that I'm on, you'll understand a lot fucking more, and you'll respect what it is I've sacrificed and how far I've come. So I want you to come in on this journey with me and, and understand. You know what I'm saying? But that's just me. So and if you're anything like me. I'm giving you the things to watch out for because just like me teaching you how to work YouTube, this is me taking you through everything I've been through and saving you a lot of fucking time. Um, if we have to revisit this white girl thing again, let me take... I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. But I'm... As I said, what I like should not matter to you. If you, nigga, you holding it down, doing your thing, whatever like that, Man, rock the fuck out with, with, you know, whatever race that you like. With me, I just get along better with a black girl because it just, it's just less scary. But don't you for a second think, for one, that it's not, you're not going to have dangers dating a, a black girl. Same, pretty much the same dangers. Um, charges just look a lot worse when it's a white girl. It just, that just, that was implanted into my mind and it's just what the fuck it is um I work with um white people just got the fuck like you know what I mean um I've I've tasted every race and it's a physical thing I'm, I'm be honest it's a physical thing for me I like to kiss, and white girls do not have the lips that I fucking like. It's what it is. So, 
that's what that is. But if you fucking believe that a white girl cannot or a Spanish girl can't be a nab, uh, Israeli, whatever the fuck can't be a nab, you're fucking insane. You will see this shit in the news. A bitch lying on a nigga, getting him killed. Does that not fit the fucking, you know what I'm saying, the definition? A bitch just uh, dating fucking uh, mini-me, you know what I'm saying? In California, you have to be married for three years and act to actually get um, to, to where when you divorce, you get half of this shit. This model married mini-me and divorced him on their... She didn't divorce him at the three-year mark because she didn't want to divorce him on her anniversary. So she waited... Three years and a day and fucking divorced him. Don't you for and we can point out a million fucking examples. So it's the same thing. I'm talking about a personal preference. I will be able to point out a nab in every race just because I know people, I know how to read body language and shit like that. When a person's being disingenuous, um, every, every female will get tired of fucking a nigga who's always there for always good to her and shit like that. He's, he's off in the military doing what he's supposed to do and shit like that. He's just such a good guy. A nigga with tattoos and barely got a car on heroin come through. She has to fuck him. She, she won't be able to fucking restrain herself. She has to fuck him. It's going to be fun as fuck. It's just, you know, it's just what it is. So don't you for a fucking instant. And if any one of you niggas come on this motherfucker doing that fucking white girl, black girl shit. I'm going to embarrass you. But I don't think we're going to have that. We're in the Patreon, so I don't think we're going to have it. So those are the three ways to identify uh, a nab in person. Um, I hope that was informative. I want you to use this list in your everyday life. Um, and you tell me how it went. Um, and let me know if I was wrong in any uh, sense of the word. I'm going to try to do these. If not every week, then at least every two weeks. Um... And maybe we'll get y'all into it to where maybe y'all can throw a couple things in to where maybe we'll, we'll have a poll and shit like that and, and to see which, which ones are the uh, most voted on. And we'll go from there. I appreciate y'all for being on the Patreon. I appreciate y'all for having patience with me. Uh, make sure you continue to hit the uh, PayPal. Obviously, you're already on the Patreon. Let's keep rocking. I'll see y'all in a minute. Love, love.